Hello fellow stampers, my name is Barbie and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am here to, take, to show you how to make this simple but beautiful birthday card. I started off with a four and a quarter by eleven inch piece of crumb cake scored at five and a half and I have already adhered inside a piece of Whisper White, which is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Today I'm using basic black ink as well as Melon Mambo and Rich Razzleberry. So for the front of the card, I am starting off with a piece of Whisper White, which is two and three quarters by five and a half inches. And I'm going to start off with a basic black ink. Today I am using the Balloon Celebration set, uh, stamp set. I am using the string and the two accents for the balloons. So with the string, I'm coming in and I'm going to put two stamps, their strings, and that is it with the basic black. Yeah, if I can get the basic black closed, it'd be wonderful. Let that sit to dry a little bit, and I'm going to take out the balloon bouquet punch, and in the rich razzleberry, I am going to stamp the bigger of the two balloons. I am using a piece here, it's, this piece of rich razzleberry is an inch and three quarter. It was pretty tight to pretty um, close call with the balloon punch. So I would recommend doing a two inch scrap piece of paper. And now with a two inch piece of scrap paper, because I learned, I am going to punch out in Melon Mambo and fling paper everywhere. But you guys, we all know how that goes with stamping and creating. <laughs> And so for these, I am going to stamp So for these, I'm going to stamp the Melon Mambo on the Melon Mambo. I'm going to use the smaller of the two, saying it is the smaller balloon. And I am waiting to see how soon it's going to be that I get myself with these stamp pads on my fingers. Because I'm just brilliant like that. And then the Rich Razzleberry, I'm going to stamp on the, well, Rich Razzleberry balloon. Now with... I got that a little higher than I wanted to, but there is no mistakes. Except for getting a trezzleberry all over the wrong side of your white sheet. I am also using, I didn't mention that, the happy birthday sentiment that is on in the same balloon celebrations. Ink that up with the Rich Razzleberry. And I'm stamping this kind of offset because I'm going to be coming in and doing the banner cut. And I'm hoping... I 
I am going to clean this up a little bit and make a mess of my fingers. Look at that I got myself. And fighting with a stamp pad, I do that quite often too. Let me pause this, I will be right back. Okay, so I am successfully a mess, but okay, it happens. So, I am going to, as I had said, make the banner cut. I have yet to get that banner punch. I am going to be ordering that in the near future. And I am going to adhere this, if I can find my tape. I am going to adhere this all the way against the edge and kind of center it. And hopefully get it straight. As straight as possible. And then I'm going to do the same kind of banner cut. And hopefully this turns out because my other ones did not want to turn out very well. Hey, not that bad. I can live with that. Now, for this, it is the art of paper tearing. Yes, believe it or not, there is an art. I'm going to tear this straight down the middle as, much, as best as possible, but we want it to be a little jagged so you can tell that it was tear, torn. Tear, he. And kind of give it this rough look all the way down. Like that. If you keep your fingers there and you just keep going and moving your fingers along with it, it's a little bit more controllable than if you just take it from the edge, like when you were three, and just assuming, <laughs> and just ripping it down. Now I'm going to adhere these on the edge, and my tape's going to get a little tape to the paper, but that's okay. I just have to remember that it's taped so that I don't Try taping my card to the paper. And then with the rough side out, kind of overlap it just a little bit. Line up the edges, so then that way you don't have too much to trim. I have a little to trim. But, I say that that's pretty good. I can be satisfied with that. And there we go. And if you do have a little overhang, you just trim it right off. Yes, I have a little bit over here too. And now, make sure you're putting it on the front of your card. I have made that mistake too many times to admit. I was going to say, don't say that I ran out of tape on my first video. How embarrassing. Just goes to show, I am not new to stamping. I am just a newbie Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And 
center this on the front of your card. Like so. I have it a little bit smudged on the bottom, but that's alright, because this is where this comes in. I'm going to use dimensionals. And I probably tend to use a little more dimensionals than what's actually required. I will totally admit to that. Ran out of that And I have an extra one here, so I'm going to pop it on the back. Now, if you're seeing my sheets of dimensionals and you're wondering why they're smaller, I get paper pumpkin. So I figure instead of using up the bigger sheets, why not use the smaller sheets that I have and save some of my bigger sheets. And... Put that down and goodbye smudgies! And I also use up all of my edge pieces. Nothing goes to waste. I probably even, I know I save paper, <laughs> paper strips that others would deem toss worthy because I I tend to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> but small strips of paper can be used for other things too. Which I will show you in a later video. I will be back. You aren't getting your... I'm not being shaken that easy. So I have that one down. I have both of those pieces off. And it doesn't matter exactly where you had stamped because you can rearrange and arrange your balloons to go where you'd like them to. And there you go. I leave the insides blank because if I send this off to somebody as far as a hostess gift or a prize at a at a workshop then they can go ahead and stamp or write whatever they'd like to inside so I hope you enjoy this card it was a lot of fun for me to come up with and it was a lot of fun for me to show you for my first video so thank you for bearing with me and I hope you have a great time making this card goodbye Thank you for watching this video. If you like this project, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to share this video with your friends. You can find more information, including links to my Stamping Up store, blog, and dimensions and product numbers for the products I used in the description below. Until next time, take care!